Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Uh, we just finished our upper cabinets. Well, two of the three. The third one we're going to wait until later on. But uh, we are done with our upper cabinets and we're going to show you how we went from this to this. So stay tuned and we'll show you. We just haven't framed out. We're not doing doors yet, but uh, that was this week's project. Check it out. Welcome to the Tale of Two Smitties. We're Cody and Laura, and if you're new here, let's catch you up. Before winter, we bought a school bus, a big yellow school bus. Cody flew out to Phoenix with Laura's dad, Grant, to make the drive back to downtown Dallas. Since then, we've been plugging away on our schoolie bus conversion, turning a bus into a tiny home on wheels. We took out the seats, fixed the lock on the front door, took out a heater, put in a subfloor, and more. Much, much, much more. We've had help from both of our dads, Cody's dad, Wayne, and Laura's dad, Grant. So, if you'd like to follow along on our journey towards bus life, click subscribe and sit back, relax, and enjoy the tale of two Smitties. Hey guys, welcome back to the tale of two Smitties. This week, we're going to be taking a look at the upper cabinet install. So, I picked up some 1x12s for the bottom of our cabinets. Our cabinets are going to be 12 inches out from the wall as well as some two by twos to start the frame. Um, I am not a cabinet maker, but we've seen some folks do a pretty good job of building sturdy cabinets, uh, maybe even sturdier than a typical cabinet uh, to handle bouncing around on the road. Uh, but we're gonna take a swing at it today. So if you're new here, go ahead and click subscribe. We post a new video every Sunday and uh, thanks for stopping by and checking us out. All right, question of the day this time is uh, about quarantining and DIY projects. So have you done any projects this year that you wouldn't have otherwise done just because you're home at the house, uh, you're working from home, you've got more time on your hands? Uh, let us know in the comments below about your project, how it went, uh, or what you tackled. All right, so we got the first part of the cabinets up. Started it last night with the frame. Uh, just finished the frame this morning and got the board underneath in. Um, it's a little dark in here because it's 6.50 a.m. Here, getting a few hours of work done before regular work. All right, so we've got the uh, frame up and uh, we've got it glued and nailed in there. I just filled some of the nail holes with the wood putty and uh, they're primed, but we still have to paint them. Uh, anyway, that's what we're looking at. And this is the first cabinet I've ever made in my life. <clears throat> it is not made uh, exactly how a cabinet maker would make it, but it is made to withstand the schoolie bouncing around. And uh, so anyway, that's the first cabinet. Close your eyes. Get some rest. I'm by your side. All right, so back at the bus tonight. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me over the generator, so we'll just have to figure it out. But uh, working on the kitchen cabinet tonight. Uh, Laura's at home. I'm doing this one by myself, which is pretty dumb because it's nine feet long and there's zero percent chance I can hold it up and screw it in. So uh, this one I decided to frame out. Let me show you what I've got. Frame out separately and then nail it up. So this is what we're working with here. So this is the back of the cabinet here and this is the front. Um, so I'm framing out the front. This top piece is going to get screwed into the ceiling and this piece is going to get screwed in above the window. So the problem is I got to spin it around. That was smart. And that because the bus isn't nine feet wide. So actually I have no idea how I'm going to do that. Um, and then I've got to screw it up here and being nine feet long makes it pretty heavy. It's a solid pine board. So I guess I'm just going to take it out of the bus and turn it around. Things you don't think of on the front end. So. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna shut this generator off. I gotta tidy up first, because the second I shut the generator off, obviously the lights go out. So so it's looking good in here, but still got a lot of work to do. So. I know you've had a really bad day. Ready to hang off yet? 
Yeah, because this is a family channel, we didn't show you the first 20 minutes of this. But it was not YouTube worthy. Whatever the word is. What's the word I'm looking for? Appropriate. Appropriate. <laughs> little bit of trial and error on this one, but I think we're getting it. This is a very long set of cabinets, which doesn't make this any easier, that's for sure. No comment. <laughs> Okay, so for the cabinet here in the kitchen, we've got a two by two along the back wall, and you can see that in there. Uh, that's screwed in there. This two by two is screwed into the bus roof. Now, right now, it's only screwed in on the ribs. Uh, we'll be adding a couple other screws here. The tough part about it is that even if the two by two on the back wall is flush on the flat part of the wall, which for us it is mostly, uh, up here you've got a curved bus, and so the ideal way to probably do it is to rip down the corner of the inside corner of the 2x2 two two so that you can meet that curve a little better and this will sit a bit more flush. But we don't have any kind of saw that would allow us to do that. Um, so we're kind of dealing with it being just a little more wonky uh, inside. It, you, it won't be noticeable on the outside. We can tell it's not sitting as perfect as we'd like. The trim will hide it. It won't be a big deal. But um, it'd probably be nice if it sat a bit more flush. We screwed these into this 2x2 two two from the top before we put it up. So that's in there good, and then same thing on here, we screwed this 2x2 two two underneath, and then this is screwed up to it. These 2x2s two are really just there to keep it from swaying at all. That's how we did that. Hey guys, I don't know if you can hear, but the generator is on, the saw is just on, and now sounds like an air compressor is on because Cody is gonna start to trim out our upper cabinets. Let's go take a look. Well, I thought we were gonna start doing the trim on the upper cabinets, but we need the hose for our air compressor, so off to the storage unit I go to get it. Having our storage unit at the same site as our bus is super handy. I wish it was a little easier and a little closer to get to because this usually takes like at least 15 minutes to get there, get back, plus whatever time to walk to the unit and find whatever thing we're looking for. But that's okay. We make it work. The world could fall down, it's gonna be okay. The sun could go Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the four inch ones came in the 
12, inch, 12 foot lengths, which is great. Three inch ones did not, they maxed out at the eight foot mark, which is obviously a foot short for all you math geniuses out there. Okay. 